Hey Scorpio, this is Ascension Empress with your March preview general reading. I hope y'all have been well, y'all been doing good, okay? <sighs> as soon as I say good and put an emphasis on it, this is what I get, right? So we're going to take a look at the general energy, take what, res take what resonates with you, leave the rest. What I instantly got from this is that y'all are cutting out this Nine of Swords, so... That's a start. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Updates when it comes to everything going forward will be out within the next week. So thank y'all for y'all's patience. I enjoyed the break. I hope y'all have been enjoying yourselves. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all been like, where you been? Where you been? Okay, so Scorpio, I feel if y'all haven't already been in some of this energy that I've been, like y'all may have been taking a hiatus, focusing on you, cutting out all this extra stress and the worry. There's a lot of mental energy that is being shifted and that has shifted over time, okay? So I don't see y'all losing sleep going forward, okay? Or I'm here much longer. It's interesting how you have a lot of swords here. You got the nine of swords. And of course, underneath is the four cups, okay? So some of y'all could be dealing with the Taurus, or a fire sign, take that high resonates because Taurus got that four of cups strong in their reading, right? But this is you coming up out of that stagnation and that lower energy where you just don't feel like you're getting anything done. You know, you're constantly putting stuff off and then you have this guilt about not getting anything done, you know, being stuck in your head because you're realizing it's all you and how you are talking to yourself and what this narrative okay and so okay so some of y'all may have realized okay i've been telling myself i can't get out the situation and it's a matter of life and death right what you speak is a matter of life and death and you realize hold on it's time to cut all that negative talk because some of y'all may have virgo in your chart all right, or this Virgo full moon mm, may definitely play a role in how you go forward because I, I see a lot of resilience. I see y'all becoming a lot more fruitful, not just in the physical, but energetically. You go from the nine of swords to the nine of pentacles. So this is telling me you go, you cut your losses. You cut the negative self-talk and all the other people who may have been trying to project and gaslight and make you feel guilty like, oh, now you're acting different. Oh, well, okay, I'm ready for different. That's what some of y'all are like. I'm ready for different. So, uh, yeah, you got to act different. You want to move different? Shoot. Wow. So some of y'all could be moving soon is what I'm getting. And it's like you probably got to the point where you got irritated by whoever these two people or this, these two areas in your life that you had to... You know, I'm here to cut through, refine, and, and cut out. Mm-hmm. You couldn't have no remorse. They didn't have none. And I'm picking up, this is like energy leeches. These are people maybe who always had something negative to say or wanted you stuck in your head and trapped in your head, all right? So I don't know if y'all got Libra in charge dealing with that as well because, honey, ooh. It's like the divine collective that is really trying to just mind theirs and keep it moving got a lot of people and a lot of energy feeling some type of way all right yeah so you also may be moving in silence oh scorpio <laughs> you know what this does resonate with y'all's fixed uh signs reading but it's it I don't even know what to say at this point. Between this and this. Again, my heart goes out to y'all who got multiple fixed signs in y'all chart. Because you got Leo out here. It's the four of pentacles. You may be... You, keep, you are keeping your plans and your cards close to your chest. But it's something about you and this money. Mm. Oh. So you may know that you're about to step into this new, I was going to say new fame, 
new level because I get that you're already well known, very much support supported and I was gonna say Sephora for some reason. I don't know. Cause I do get somebody getting a makeover, honey. Like you're standing up and I'm I'm hearing that song still standing. Like I'm still standing by Monica. Because there was a point where you felt like you couldn't get up. Four of cups, nine of swords, page of cups, praying, crying. But I feel like y'all are getting, I'm seeing it. Y'all are getting up out of this, I'm the victim, somebody come help me mentality. Because whether that was your intention to come off that way or not, there's something that sparks you and I'm getting, it's the shift. It's, it's a shift in energy, right? Because I'm telling you, this Aquarius season going into Pisces season, it was a, it was a nice shift. And so was this full moon. It really highlighted what we deserve. You know, that, that card in Moonology, knowing that you're good enough. Many people will realize, you know what, I'm standing on that. I'm good enough. I'm standing on that. I'm good enough. Instead of beating yourself up and criticizing and being hard on yourself about what you haven't gotten done and, and how you want to do this and you can't do that. And no, nah. even with four pinnacles, even with other people not knowing your business. And that could be what this is too. You, you're not oversharing anymore. Yeah. But the six of wands, people who may always want to know what you got going on and, you know, they thrive off your victories and your good news and maybe even the bad news. It's like they want to know everything. You're not doing that no more. Okay. Cause you're realizing ain't nobody trying to see how I really feel right with the nine of swords and the four of cups. People want to come in, oh, how is it, da, da, da. you know, you can come talk to me, but where are they really? Yeah, where are they? Look, y'all, you can't make this up. They they got you feeling left out, right? They quick to say you can ask me for anything, but they quick to run and hide when you really need them or, and when shit hits, yeah, when it hits the fan. Okay, you cannot make this up. So now y'all are like, mm, mm going forward, <laughs> and that is what is, opening the door for this new for these nines right y'all are in this chapter the five and sixes you could be seeing a lot of five sixes twos and threes okay some about the number 23 is significant but here are these nines honey well, you know what come after that so a new beginning is around the corner what's the moonology message holy spirit holy angels what is the moonology message this is exciting y'all may have to like get a little cutthroat right not physically not literally <sighs> i told you there goes fixed energy you got taurus okay yes okay scorpio you got this the universe is on your side god is on your side it says surrender to the divine. Why would God want you to surrender if he ain't got you? All right. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Right up after the Mercury retrograde. So I'm telling you, y'all, God is looking out. Conclusions are within reach. So between now and this... Not even just the Mercury retrograde. Between now and this full moon and then the next six months following that, you know, I don't know who I was just talking to, but just like uh, maybe Sagittarius, it's time to plant those seeds, right? Springtime. What are your goals between now and September when there's a full moon in Pisces, right? Because the full moon in Virgo is already jump-starting everything. You got some time before this Mercury retrograde and then you, all of April review and revise. That's what I keep getting. I keep getting that message review and revise. God is giving you a heads up, right? Because somebody doesn't know if they can hold on any much longer. Look what comes after it. Yes, this is your confirmation. This is this. Sur surrender. God is saying surrender. This is not a, another romantic you know, person who's supposed to come in and apologize. And they want to come back. Because some of y'all, that's, that's why you can't sleep. Because that's what you keep thinking about. Spirit said cut it. Cut it. It's time to think bigger. It's time for you to realize where you're meant to go and who you really are. Right? While you sitting in this energy losing sleep, it's 
stand up, right? And somebody's standing on business, for real. There's a feminine energy who's about to stand up. And she should, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, one more. What's the overall message? Come through, said. Ooh, yeah, I'm here in Sagittarius, too. Loneliness. Wow, as soon as I said come through, so... <laughs> Scorpio, some of y'all could be wanting somebody to come through. They want to come through. They feeling lonely, but you are in this energy. I know that I'm never alone, right? You cutting that. So, yeah, there's definitely a Sagittarius or this, um, I'm hearing a player-like energy who's in a, of course, lower vibration if they acting like a player. Who wants to come back and you're not buying it anymore? This person could have had you in a nine of swords and you know that you are never alone. You know how to deal with this loneliness. So whoever's trying to come towards you with the manipulation and the mind games and the page of cups energy, talking about they sorry. No, you surrender to the divine. You know conclusions are with, within reach. And you're not about to get caught back up, tied back into, you know, no, we're not doing this. So that does tell me that there is an external party and it's funny because they're not in the reading, but their energy is all in the reading when it comes to yours. Like the shift in yours speaks to some external party. So just beware. Beware of that. Yeah, relationships. And this was in reverse, y'all. You can't make this up. Okay? I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Does this look like your higher good? Do you look like you're like honoring your higher self? No. I... Yeah, I'm done. These are this is so straightforward. All right. So that is your reading, Scorpio. We're gonna tap back in and look into all the other general messages. But thank you all for your support and y'all's long way to patience. Okay. And take care. Bye.